Wow! SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through the Kini Vada to the edge of town. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty! With cheese! Welcome to the one of the first of many driving sections in the game, even though they really never, they only drove really once. But then they decided to put, hey, let's put a bunch of driving mechanics into the game. I guess they could do that. That's why it's very loosely based in the game, because, yeah, you'll see later on why they ran like amateur ran for stuff into this anyway. So you get these nitro thingamajigs, which you can do by using R. Um, at least the game converters either. Those other buttons are probably for the PS2 and PS2? Yeah, PS2. Anyways, you can take a little alternate path there and you get an extra. Uh, most of the these driving sessions will have alternate paths that usually will either improve your time or just in fact allow you to collect the extra. This one has a few. You can take a left behind these rocks here. There's an extra hidden behind here. And a couple of manly points too if you need them. And then, most importantly, remember that, because, well, you'll see. You can go down this nice little straightaway, and go by the exit sign, like, that's probably really... It's, no, I can't, can't turn the angle. I can't control the camera. I have this nice little dodge the horn terror... Wow, that was a fail. You have the horn terror dodge the wrecking ball, and then you have sandwiches on the course, so... Just in case you need some, it's there for you. I got two paths, so you can take the high one and the low one. If you really want to, I'll actually explore both. Actually, no, nah, I lied. I'll explore the lower one and then later on I'll explore the higher one. I'll have to find myself to do that. I'll explore the higher one. See that our manly points over there. Wait, remember to me right, you aren't missing much. So just continue on. And buildings will randomly start to fall. No logical explanation besides random buildings to start to fall. Okay, why is a random building starting to fall? Anyways, you'd think there'd be something over here, but there isn't. I don't know why. I mean, they were able to call it out, but nothing. So, there's a hole in this wall, and you can clearly see right through it. So, I'll continue on here, and way, way, way through. And there's a little pop on the other side, and voila! There we go, this is extra. And I got a little water physics here that kind of pushes you forward. Doesn't do extremely too much, but hey. It's just there's a nice measure. You can go quickly, go this way. Try to avoid hitting the wrecking ball in midair. Which I have failed to do twice so far. Uh, this random crane will pull the random piece out of the middle there. Why exactly? I don't know. Because it can. Freedom of digging random things out of the ground. Now, one thing I can mention about this, you can take as long as you want. So if you want it for a second, for a sec for a second here. Wait until the cannonball goes by once or twice. Just sit there. You can. There is no time limit on this one. So, do whatever you want. You can goof up the many times if you miss a jump. I don't think you really miss a jump. You're pretty hard to. If you miss a jump, good job. You're challenged. Anyways, we have made it past. The one of four. This mission. You've reached the edge of town, and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. And we will. I decided to go. Yep, it takes about eh, four minutes to get through town. So do before, just four of them. Do all one video. That seems pretty good, right? Do you want to try a time challenge? I'm challenged all the time. Good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the road. If you finish in less than the set time, I'll reward you. You get the DA. Now, there are actually two time challenges, so there's four. We'll get into what the third one is later on. So I'm debating the second second time challenge. It's basically the exact same thing, except a little bit harder. 
So on the beta, if I just show you one run, I don't need to show you two. And I figured, why show you the easier run when I can just show you the hard run? So, this one's probably either going to be sped up for the most part, or not really cared for. Probably going to be more of the latter, so... I could probably have gone the other way and show what actually was that direction. I'll do that for the... I'll actually show what the, all the shortcuts... You know, I'll make it somewhat useful. I'm going to go all the non-shortcut paths. Because... Well, i got to show you something. I'll explain it like up or something like that. Um, yeah, it makes sense. I was like, okay. You hit the poles. You hit the... Fine, I want the poles. We the sort of thing. Okay, here. And then do that. So, don't hit the poles. Now, four minutes is pretty dang easy to get. I mean, just keep going normally. Don't run into too many obstacles. And even if you mess up a couple of times like I'm doing right here, you'll probably still be in good shape. I'll go with the high line here. Because, well... The next two, you're, you're focusing on and doing something. So, this one you can kind of goof off and go wherever you want to. You got the nitros, so if you ever low on um, speed, just whap a nitro down, get a nice little boost. So the nitro takes about uh, 5 seconds of time, I might be a little exaggerating. Not be 5, say 3.5. Let's go the non trucker with us time. So basically all you do is get a pile of sand, and the building falls down. So I don't think it's too interesting. And there are alternate paths, but it's kind of like saying butter is an alternate alternative to margarine. I mean, this is the sexy thing. I mean, you're not getting really too much of benefit using the other one, but you can. I'm not stopping it. If you want to go in off and be a margarine level, go right ahead. What's the difference what's the between butter? I'm just hitting all the light poles to kill This is the first one, aren't I? Uh, what is the difference between butter and margarine? If you fall in there, you die. That is the difference. So don't fall in there. It's probably like the main hazard you can actually get. Is this level. No, actually, seriously, what is the difference between butter and margarine? I just I don't know. Seriously, I don't remember what the difference between margarine, butter and margarine. Hmm. I'm getting off topic, aren't I? Well, then again, see, seafood is very good with butter and margarine. So maybe I am on top topic. Anyways, look at that. Not even really trying, I got her three minutes. So if you, get a, if you can't get four. Uh, You've won the time challenge. Here's your reward. <laughs> it was somewhat synced. It's getting better. And then it just freezes here. Now I have a real challenge for you, Mindy. We're ready. What do we do? Rings will appear on the road. Go through each ring before it disappears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you. Now this one for the first level is probably the most difficult, and it, it keeps a steady difficulty throughout the game, and that's why I say it's most difficult for the first level. Because, well, this is actually difficulty throughout. So they really won't trick you, but they will kind of give you a... Uh, what you can kind of do. They will flash for a little bit... Oh, actually, they won't. They will flash a red, and then flash for one more times before they finish out. So, even if they start to flash red, you've actually still got it quite a while. So make sure and just take your pace. Just make sure you don't miss. So let go of the acceleration now and then. Uh, if you do not know where the extras are for these levels, the rings will basically show you where you want to go. And that's how it kind of is. The rings will always be in the right spots to go to the extras, almost always. Except for maybe now and then for a loose extra that you probably could have figured out by yourself. So the extras are horribly hidden in these levels because basically tell you where they want you to go. So this one, the, they don't show the extra hidden back there. But Anyways, you can see there's a hitbox for it. It's basically just hit it. You don't need to go through it. You just need to hit the ring. So... I'm going to take a left there. Uh, keep going here. I mean, it's not too hard. Just be more weary and safe about things than rush into it. I mean, you've got a break button. If you don't think you'll be able to make it through, make sure you make it through it instead of running out of time. I mean, running out of time, you can always slap a nitro on and then easily get to it, but not bad. Just slap a nitro. 
but is, if you miss it by going left or right, is really hard to recover and get back behind there. It is possible you get there quick enough, however, it is not very likely. I don't even really know if you can go backwards into a rank and make it count. So which way do you want me to go? Okay, I think I left. This is, the, this is the route I just took before. This is the exact route I took before. Wow. So basically, actually, it only showed really two, actually one out of the three extras, so maybe I kind of have to take that back. It should really show all the extras. But it does seem to do a, quite a good deal of showing them, because really, if you missed um, that one extra with the wall exploding, you could figure out the other wall exploding. Yeah. You got some issues, because that wall exploding there was way more obvious than so you saw it twice, so your like, curiosity should like. Hey, this was wall exploded now. again. Hey, something was happening. Uh, that one, that ring right there, could be kind of hard if you have weird water physics mess you up. It was not really weird, so yeah, you don't judge it too bad. So let's go ahead, and that's a sea needle. We can have a horn to level up based on it. Yep. No, you won't. Don't worry. You've beaten the ring challenge. Thank you for saving me out of this. What's the back there? I love how the music starts and then does it again, and then it freezes as it saves. High quality. Since you beat the other challenges so easily, I have a tough one for you. Easy? Uh, yeah, it was easy. Does he have an H at the end? Why is he sitting? Oh, very easy. All right, I'll give you a hard time to beat. Get to the end of the road in less than the set time. So basically, you got a hard time challenge, which is basically, hey, look, three minutes. So here we go. We got you kind of stressed, but I kind of made it the first time, and I really wasn't trying. So if you need any help with these, cut corners when you can. So cut this corner, that can save you a good five seconds. It's all about seconds, that's the whole entire extra challenge, speed challenge, as always is. Like, that's how time travels, just shaving those extra seconds off your time can make a big difference. I was seeing success and failure, not really in your time overall, because, well, shaving five seconds makes a difference of shaving five seconds. Yeah, that was that obvious. And I don't know why I can't catch those, but... Big deal. So basically the park takes the shortest route, the lower path. Don't bother going too high. The grass is a little slippery, so stay in the normal paved path. That'll help you through it. Uh, if you really want to have a good time, have zero nitros left over. Because, well, if you have zero nitros left over, that means you use them all. Might end up um, getting a level up. Be nice, because I actually, for some reason, don't have them. I usually did by this point. Right, it's the lower path. I guess I, I'm not sure, but I think it's shorter. It feels shorter than me. Maybe because it's more tightly wound. So, you know, tightly wounded, therefore, shorter distance. That's how I use it works. But maybe you're turning more, and therefore it won't work like that. Anyways, we got that, so. I'll be held for the next level. Keep it moving on. Take a little dodge the roll there. Um, actually, sure, why not? We're here. I don't really know which way is faster, outside or inside. The inside seems quicker, so I'll take it. I mean, it feels quicker. I mean, this is all just feels and hypotheses. I never really measured the time out, nor did I really care, because I really never really had to shut up. Shed the extra seconds off this one, because this one, you really don't need it. I got a whack in there, aren't I? I landed back on it, that was kind of cool. Anyways, oh no, that could that could be a serious mix-up. I could really push the time now. I probably won't. I mean, it's not. No, don't even worry about it. Not likely. That's. Ooh, I'm saying this might be close. Ooh, this might be close. Ooh, I might have to take back what I said about it not being close. Ah, no, not close. Never mind. I'm like reacting. I have like 10 seconds left. Not very close. Slapping on nature. Yeah, actually. Well, how long? Actually, 15. There you go, done. So that's 245. 
from behind that one mega miss up there, so it took about five seconds. You did it! You're telling me I did it. Thank you. Because I so need to be told that I did it. Wow. Anyways, that is all the driving challenges. So you can try and beat now you can see. We'll do it, Mindy. Awesome. Nothing can distract us. Wheels on the paddy wagon go round and round. You can say, hey, try to beat your high score. And that's basically it. And are you going to try to beat your high score? Heck no. We're going to try to go backwards. And look, this is what's happening to go backwards. Nothing. So they had the. What happened to the parking lot? Is there a parking lot? And why does this feel like there's something missing? Isn't there like a. Wasn't there like a big gap between the two? I guess no one really stared at it. Anyways, I get distracted, aren't I? See you in the next part.